Hey YouTubers, I want to talk a little bit about the Backflip MX-4 tonneau cover. I um, love this thing. I've had a previous version of the Backflip on another truck and I uh, actually had a previous version of a Backflip cover on this truck. I'll tell you more about that and why I think Backflip's customer support is second to none. I also want to talk about Honda finally making a tailgate lock available on the newer Ridgelines. Um, my model is a 2018 and it did not have a tailgate lock, but I found that I could order the handle and the locking mechanism from Honda for a later model truck and install it on this truck. And I've actually made a video on how to take the tailgate apart and how to install that Honda Ridgeline locking tailgate handle. So please check out my video for more information on that. But right now I want to focus on the back flip cover. I wanted a cover that would give me um, a secure cargo space. When this is closed, and you can see you don't have to lift the cover up to close the tailgate. You can just close the tailgate. But when this is closed, all right, my tailgate can be locked. There's no easy way to get into here. Now, yeah, somebody could get in here maybe with a coat hanger and jimmy the mechanism, or maybe you could get a pry bar and pry this open, but unless somebody's really determined, um, they're not going to fool with it. You know, most of your uh, folks that are getting into tailgates, are they go by and they check the handle, and if the handle's locked and they can't lift that up, they just move on. Another problem I've had, every time I've owned a pickup truck without a cover, people throw trash in the back of your pickup truck. You, know, you go to Walmart and you park in the parking lot, and you come back out and there's a milkshake or uh, an empty food bag or some piece of trash that somebody threw in the back of your truck. Well, now I've got to go find a garbage can and dispose of that properly because I don't want to have it blow out when I'm driving down the road and get myself a ticket. So there's another benefit of having a tonneau cover. And like I say, a locking one is even better. So here's how this works. I drop the tailgate down. There's a small cable here I pull and that releases the latch and I can flip it up. The next section also has a latch. So I flip that up. The third section has a latch. I flip that up. Now there are rubber bumpers that protect this from rubbing against the cab and there are prop rods on either side that you put into place to prevent this tonneau cover from moving. And now that is locked into place. It can't come down. I love this because my cargo now, if it shifts or moves around, my rear window is protected. So it really does provide a lot of protection. And with this in place, I can still get 16 bales of pine straw in the back, back here, in intermediate positions as well. If I want it here, I can use it like this, but there's a chance if I'm going fast enough down the interstate, the wind could catch this and slam it shut. I've actually had that happen once when I forgot to latch it. They provide latches. You take this strap, you clip it here. Do the same on the other side. And now that's not going to slam shut. So if you want to have part of your cargo protected from the weather and part of your cargo maybe is too big to go under the cover, you can do it that way. Lots of options with these things. As you can see, when the back flip cover is folded up against the back of the cab, it only takes about eight inches of space. However, if you need the entire bed, just remove this knob right here and the other one on the other side, and you can lift the back flip cover up, fold it up, and put it on the floor or on the back seat. Now, the first back flip I had on my first Honda Ridgeline truck I bought second hand and I got the cover and I got the aluminum rails but all of the rubber 
parts that help seal it. I did not get that as part of the sale. And the seller did tell me he was going to do it that way. And so I contacted Backflip and told them I needed all the rubber parts to install a used Backflip cover on my Honda Ridgeline. And they said, no problem. We can't give you those under warranty, but we can sell them to you. And so I think I paid $20 and got all the replacement rubber bits and installed that on my first ridge line. And I love that, that was great. I left the backflip on the truck when I sold it, it went to the next owner. I immediately bought a new MX-4 backflip for my new ridge line when I got it. And this was a very early production backflip model. And there was a small rubber bumper installed on both sides right about here that protects the surface so that when this is rolled back so that this latch doesn't damage the cover when you fold it back to here. You'll see now they put rubber protectors here, there, and on the other end to keep this latch from damaging the cover when it's flipped back to here. On the early production models, they put these rubber bumpers here on the top of the backflip instead of on the latch. And as you can imagine, after being exposed to the weather for a year or so, uh, those bumpers degraded and they eventually came loose and I developed a very small dent in the cover of the backflip cover where the latch was rubbing against the cover. The dent was maybe the size of a dime. I took pictures of it. I emailed backflip and said I needed a set of new rubber bumpers because mine has become dented. And they said, we have redesigned the backflip. We don't use those style bumpers anymore. We will send you a new cover if you like. I said, sure, I'd love a new cover. I said, here's what you need to do. They said, make a video of you drilling holes in your old cover near where the serial number sticker is. It's under here somewhere. So that we know that you've destroyed the old cover and you're not going to try to sell it to somebody. So I made a video of me drilling holes in my old backflip cover, emailed it to them, and they sent me a brand new cover free best customer service I've ever had. I would not own a pickup truck without one of these. It is absolutely awesome. The Honda Ridgeline bed is designed with several pieces that come together and Honda intentionally made a gap between these pieces to let water drain off of here so it doesn't pool up on top. Now sometimes the water runs out this way, sometimes it runs into the bed. Uh, it's not a problem if you have an open bed, but part of the reason of putting any tonneau cover on is to help keep the contents of the bed dry. Now when you buy your backflip cover, it comes with a foam piece here, which you install here at the end of this groove, and this prevents this water from running into the bed, and it does a good job. But the backflip doesn't come with any provision for preventing water from getting in here. Now there's a groove there, but I've filled it in. And I've seen some people use silicon caulk or some other products, but um, I used this. It's glass setting tape. Uh, it's made out of a butyl rubber, uh, putty-like consistency. And you knead it and work with it a little bit and it gets nice and soft. And I just rolled out a little piece of it, laid it in that groove, and mashed it down into place. Now, that's been there four years and it's still doing a great job keeping the water out. Okay, the way Backflip would have you install this corrugated hose is to attach it to the drip rail here and then just let it hang down in the bed. Well, first of all, you can put it behind this tie-down clip here and that keeps it out of the way. The other modification I made is I inserted a one quarter inch diameter fuel hose inside of here and I wrapped that fuel hose in a little bit of electrical tape so it was a snug fit. I pushed a piece of 
refrigerator water supply hose inside that quarter inch hose. And I also put a little bit of butyl rubber around the end of this. If we take this and stuff it into the hole here in the bed, and now the water comes out of the drip rail, down the hose, and out the bed directly instead of puddling around here. And I'm not too concerned about obscuring this drain hole. There are several all across the front here. So your water will still get out if any does get in. But this greatly reduces the amount of water that gets in the bed in the first place. I hope you find this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did.